Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition. Click new. Rename it to main one. For this composition, I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame per second is 90 and duration of this composition is 30 seconds. Click OK. Add a new null object to the timeline. Rename it to C slash 1. Make this layer 3D. Go to transform. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Copy the script from the description down below. Now paste the script in the script box. Again press Alt button and click stopwatch next to orientation. Add the script from the description down below. Again add a new null layer. Rename it to n slash 1. Make this null layer also 3D. Go to transform. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Copy the script from the description down below. Now paste the script in the script box. Again press Alt button and click stopwatch next to orientation. Add the script from the description down below. Add a new null layer. Rename it to position slash 1. Make this null layer also 3D. Go to transform. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Copy the script from the description down below. Now paste the script in the script box. Again add a new null object to the timeline. Rename it to parameter. Go to effects and presets. Add slider control effect to this layer. Rename slider control to Y. Move the timeline to 1350 frames and click stopwatch next to slider. Now move the timeline to 1530 frames and change its value to 400. Again add slider control effect to this layer. And rename slider control to R. Now move the timeline to 450 frames. And click stopwatch next to slider. Change its value to 100. Move the timeline to 630 frames. And change its value to 600.
Now add the camera layer to the timeline. Rename it to camera. Change its zoom to 246.94 mm. Check enable depth of field. And uncheck lock to zoom. Go to camera and to transform. Move the timeline to zero frames. Click stopwatch next to position. Change its value to 960, 0 and minus 200. Now move the timeline to 30 seconds. And change its value to 960, 1080 and minus 800. Go to camera options. Move the timeline to zero frames. And click stopwatch next to focus distance. Change its value to 500 pixels. Now move the timeline to 30 seconds. And change its value to 1000 pixels. Change aperture to 200 pixels. Now add a solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to P slash 1. Move this layer, below C slash 1 null layer. Go to effects and presets. And add trap code particular effect to this layer. Go to emitter. Move the timeline to zero frames. Click stopwatch next to particles per second. Change its value to zero. Move the timeline to 180 frames. And change its value to 300. Now move the timeline to 1980 frames. And add again the keyframe. Move the timeline to 2070 frames. And change its value to zero. Select all keyframes. Right click. Go to keyframe assistant and click keys ease. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Copy the script, from the description down below. Now paste the script in the script box. Change position subframe to 10x linear. Change direction to directional. Change direction speed to 0%. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to X rotation. Copy the script, from the description down below. Now paste the script in the script box. Do this same for Y rotation and also Z rotation. Change velocity to 1500. Change velocity random to 0% and change velocity from motion to 8.
Go to particles. Change life per second to 5. Change size to 3 and also change size over life, using presets. Change set color to, over life. Also change blend mode to screen. Now go to auxiliary system. Change emit to, continuously. Change particles per second to 50. Change life per second to 1. Change blend mode to screen. Change size to 2. Also change size over life, using presets. Change set color to, over life. Change color from main to 100%. And change gravity to 10. Change mode of this layer, from normal to screen. Go to particles again and go to color over life. Change first color to 246, 61 and 70. Change second color to 81, 73 and 92. Change third color to 54, 53 and 93. Change fourth color to 331. 89 and 100. And change last color to 200, 84 and 58. Select P slash 1 layer and duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Duplicate it around 17 times. Now select 10 slash 1 and position slash 1 layer. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Duplicate it around 17 times. Create a new composition.
and rename it to main2. Change the frame per second to 30. Go to project window and drag main1 comp to the timeline. Right click on the main 1 layer. Go to time and click time stretch. Change stretch factor to 125. Go to 1125 frames and trim this composition to work area. Now create a new composition and rename it to final. Change the frame per second to 30 and also change the duration to 1125 frames. Now add a new black solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to BG. Go to project window and drag main 2 comp to the timeline. Select main 2 layer and duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Change the mode of this layer from normal to add. Go to effects and presets and add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 100 and change iterations to 1. Now again go to effects and presets. And add color balance effect to this layer. Change highlight red balance to 100 and change highlight green balance to minus 100. Now play this animation. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, Please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.